In Jamaica, 40% of women get pregnant while they're still teenagers. And in the Caribbean, about a half of our mothers are single. Small wonder then that many mothers don't have enough money to feed themselves, far less their babies. So a lot of Caribbean children start their lives malnourished. The brain of a malnourished child doesn't form properly. In effect, potholes start forming along the long road, even while it's being built. And these potholes don't get fixed as the child grows. They remain, giving malnourished children a head start toward a violent future. So how can science help us with our violence problem? Well, it shows us that prevention is better than cure. It tells us that we should try to make violent places less stressful for the people who live there, especially for young mothers and their children. Science has also shown us that preventing children from going hungry could be an easy way to reduce violence in the future, an easy way that works. In the 1980s, Madagascar, a country off the coast of Africa, had a serious violent crime problem. But instead of buying more guns for the police or putting more soldiers on the streets, the Madagascan people bought more food for their children. Within 10 years, the country's children had better work in brains. And within 20 years, violent crimes in Madagascar had fallen by more than 35%. We in Jamaica and the Caribbean must learn a similar lesson if we're to ever overcome our violence problem. We must act now, before it's too late. Mm -hmm.